Hello guys and welcome back to chemistry class. This is chemistry course and we are going to continue our study on the families of elements. Alright and today we are going to be looking at group 6A elements. Alright group 6A elements what we call the oxygen family or what we call the calcogenes. Calcogenes. All right, the oxygen family or the calcogenes. All right, so now uh, do not forget that this video tutorial, of course, is brought to you by the O3 School Jump app. It is all you need, trust me, for sure success in your exam. It has all the past questions that you ever seek for, both past and recent. All right, even up to last year, jump is on the app. All right, and of course, there are so many modes you can practice on. There's a practice mode, there's a study mode, there's an exam mode, there's a mock mode. You can what place yourself. Place yourself as if you are writing jump already. So imagine that you have built your confidence several times answering jump questions. So when jam now what meets you, right? Jam would bow down, jam would mellow down. All right, please. It has wonderful the app has many wonderful features to make you what study and what to pass your exam. There's a question search feature where you can search for question by topic. Yeah, there's of, of course. The UTME challenge that will conduct for all students writing jump to win prizes. But winning prizes is not the major reason why we do that. Another important reason is such that we we'll release a score every week. Because that challenge, we, that challenge runs every week, every Saturday, till one week to your jump exam. It runs throughout. So as it's running, as you participate, you will see your jumps, you see what your results, you see your results. It will be released to you just like way jam releases its results. So when you see your results, you know your weak areas. So you know those areas to what to work upon, those areas to what improve upon. All right. So the app has so many wonderful features to make you learn. All right. So please jump on the app immediately. And in case you have downloaded the app and you want to activate, all right, what we all need to do is what to send a number, a message to WhatsApp on 09121. 515246. This is our customer care number on WhatsApp, and that is all you need to what to send a message. Just say, Sir, I have downloaded the app, I want to activate. Activation is just 3000 naira, and be free, free to what to pay, right? It's a very small token that you are paying to appreciate us for such a very huge application. All right, now I haven't seen this. Let's go to why we are here today, which is group CC elements. All right, uh, the elements in this group include oxygen itself right then of course we have sulfur then we have selenium all right we have tellurium then we have polonium and right? then we have what flavorium flavorium or the one we call unum unum hesium all right so this unimensium is uh uh it's uh, as atomic number one 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 six one one six it has no reuse outside the laboratory it has only been produced in the world in the laboratory all right now the most the two most important elements in group 6a are oxygen and sulfur as you rightly would see they are oxygen and sulfur of course that's why we're calling them well, that's how we call this uh, uh uh group six element oxygen family the most important one is oxygen then what we have, we have what sulfur all right uh oxygen makes up of makes up 21 percent of the air we breathe all right of the air we breathe it makes up 21 percent of the air we breathe because if you are breathing in fully 100 percent hair uh, made up of oxygen it will affect what some vital what organs in your system it will affect it so Nitrogen makes up makes up seventy eight percent of the hair we breathe. Oxygen made up twenty one percent. All right, there are some other what gases because hair is a what it's a mixture of gases anyway to start with. So oxygen and what and sulfur are the most important members of what this group. They what they exhibit they exhibit what to call allotropy. Both of them exhibit what to call what allotropy. There's a full video on this channel dedicated to allotropy. So I will not go, I'm not going to what, talk about it at all. So if you do not know what allotropy is, you are doing yourself what a, a big what a big but shooting yourself in the leg anyway. Let me put it that way. So allotropy is the existence of different forms of a substance in the same physical state. All right. So if you want to know more about allotropy, please go and watch our video on allotropy. All right. Now, also and so forth, like I said, they exhibit what allotropy, right? They will combine with each other. Oxygen and sulfur combine with each other 
to give to form SO2 and SO3 respectively. They combine with each other to form SO2 and SO3. Also, also, right, they combine with hydrogen. They combine with hydrogen to form H2S, hydrogen sulfide, and what? H2O respectively. All right, so oxygen reacts to hydrogen to give us what? Water, H2O. Hydrogen reacts to sulfur to give us hydrogen, what? Sulfide. All right, now, also, know that what? Oxygen was react with many elements to form what? Oxides. They react with many elements to form what? Oxides. To form what? Oxide. Why sulfur also um, forms many compounds, such as what? Sulfates. Sulfur forms sulfates. They form sulfides. Right? They form thiosulfates. They will form sulfides. And what have you? All right. So now the reason why I'm not going to talk too much about sodium, uh, sorry, about uh, sulfur and oxygen is because when we start talking about non-metals, we will go a lot deeper about what oxygen and what and sulfur. So just know that what the elements in group six A are oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium, polonium, flavorium, or unumensium. All right. There's a bit uh, oxygen and sulfur are the most two important elements, and there's a bit what allo. There's, there's a bit what allotropy. They can combine with each other to form SO2 and SO3. They can combine with what uh, hydrogen to form what H2S and H2O respectively. Oxygen and sulfur does not react with water in any form. They do not react with water in any form. If, if you have not liked this video, what you are doing is very, very, very wrong. Liking this video will make others easily find this video and they can also learn. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Subscription is completely free to this channel. Just click on that red subscribe button so that once we release another any new video, you get a notification on your phone that we have published a new video to help you, right? And do not forget to share so that others we also what learn. So, like I said, uh, oxygen reacts with what many elements to form oxides, all right. And of course, sulfur also forms what many compounds such as what sulfate, sulfides, to sulfates and what sulfites all right and so on and so forth all right so this is where i'm going to stop for this class in the next class i'm going to be looking at what group 7a elements called the halogens all right and i would like to see you in that class thanks for watching